Reading 6. Reference materials. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to First, to enumerate the different reference materials. Second, to explain the functions or uses of reference materials. And third, to use appropriate reference material. We need to make a report about the different reference materials. We must go to the library to get more information. That's a good idea, Fred. Maybe we can ask the librarian for some help. Yeah, right. Let's go so we can start the outline of our report. Hello, ma'am. We have been assigned by Mrs. Castro to report on the different kinds of reference materials. Where can we find them, ma'am? Go to the General Work section. File under 000 to 099. Yes, ma'am, we will. Thanks a lot. Welcome, boys. And good luck. Reference materials are books or sources that provide background information on any given topic. A library is well equipped with several kinds of reference materials that you can use when looking for some specific information. Here are the different kinds of reference materials. Encyclopedia. Dictionary. Atlas. Yearbook. Almanac. Newspaper and magazine. Manual or handbook and directory. Let us study them, one by one. First is the encyclopedia. An encyclopedia is a book or a set of books that contain information on various subjects or topics. It provides easy access to reliable information. Encyclopedias come in volumes and are arranged alphabetically. The second reference material is the dictionary. This reference material contains alphabetically arranged words with their meanings, origin, spelling, pronunciation, syllabication, usage, synonyms, and antonyms. The atlas is the third type of reference material. An atlas is a collection of maps of different continents, countries, and places. A yearbook is a compilation of important data and statistics regarding health, tourism, education, business, etc. This book is also called an annual, since it is published yearly. The yearbook is used to record, highlight, or commemorate important events that happened in a particular year. The next reference material is the almanac. This reference material provides a yearly calendar of weather, oceans, astronomical information, high tide, and low tide. It consists mainly of statistics and charts. Take note that the information in an almanac is arranged according to subject matter instead of alphabetically. The sixth reference materials are newspapers and magazines. A newspaper provides news from around the world. It contains articles on current events, certain issues and happenings, advertisements, reports, and correspondence about government, politics, etc. It is divided into different sections and parts. A magazine, on the other hand, contains the latest information and interviews about known personalities. It also contains articles and advertisements focusing on health, entertainment, lifestyle, and others. A manual or handbook is a book that gives specific or detailed directions or instructions. Common example is a recipe book. And finally, the last reference material is the directory. A directory contains complete names, addresses, and telephone numbers of persons or business establishments. It provides basic contact and service details of a person or company. It's practice time. Identify the reference materials being described. Number 1. It contains a collection of maps.
Number 2. It contains articles on current events, certain issues and happenings. Number 3. They come in volumes and are arranged alphabetically. Number 4. It contains complete names, addresses, and telephone numbers of persons or business establishments. Number 5. It is a compilation of important data and statistics regarding health, tourism, education, business, etc. It is published annually. Reference materials are various sources that provide background information or quick facts on any given topic.